We are in the middle of tax season. You know, you need to file your income taxes by April 15th. You want to be careful, though. This is the time of the year when scammers start going after people who are filing their taxes. Adam Gehring from Baker Tilly joins us now to talk about some of the most common scams. Good morning. Yeah, Great to have you here. with us. Uh, it is a little astonishing, I think, how many people fall victim right. to these sorts of scams. That's right. Definitely in today's age, we are seeing uh, more and more of our clients, you know, fall fall prey. Really? Um, yes, right. definitely. So what are the biggest scams out there right now? You know, the, the biggest thing I see or receive or right. get calls from my clients on are the phone calls that they're getting, the mm -hmm. robo calls, mm -hmm. the, the threatening calls that... I'm calling either, from the IRS, that's that right. sort of thing. That's right. Um, you know, those calls are, are coming into their cell phones. It looks like it is from the IRS. Unfortunately, it is not. Uh, the IRS very, will not call you. They will not call you. Um, IRS usually, in most instances, initiates their correspondence with all of us by mail. mail. Okay. okay. Good. And so that. those phone calls, they're, they're kind of scary. I, I've received mm -hmm. them in the past, and I know the Threatening. first time right. that I got it, my heart you know, skipped yeah. a beat a little bit until I kind of started yeah, staying calm and said, you know, this isn't real. Right. Identity theft is another concern. Mm -hmm. It is. You know, uh, taxpayers are finding out this time of the year that uh, their identity may have been stolen when they go to file their, you know, personal tax returns and the IRS rejects it because somebody's used their social security number to file uh, a, a false tax return, you know, mm -hmm. with that number. I'm a little surprised about the next one, tax preparer fraud. Really? Yeah, unfortunately there are um, some, you know, individuals out there who are preying on, you know, uh, taxpayers to uh, file false tax returns on their behalf, huh. okay, and claim refunds that they're mm. unfortunately depositing. So these are more fly-by-night type. They operation. are right, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, uh, us at Baker Tilly, we are open, you know, 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. We are not just a pop-up shop mm -hmm. uh, that only comes around, you know, from January to April yeah. of every year. And, uh, I do believe it is more of those, you know, as you said, fly-by-night uh, right. operations that are taking advantage what of What are the best things that you can do to protect yourself to make sure this doesn't happen to you? Right. Well, I think it is uh, just in general security of our identities, you know, mm -hmm. not keeping your Social Security card on your possession, you know, shredding any uh, data or mm -hmm. documents that might have your personal information, and, and just being cognizant of, you know, those scams, sure. the the, the uh, phishing emails and, and any other uh, you know items that people are looking to gather your personal data. Just with. knowing this is the time when this is happening. That is, is correct, power, definitely. For sure. Very good, Adam from Baker Jelly. Thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.